This is higher homework 5 and we're looking at question 3. The equation of motion of a particle is s is equal to 6t squared minus t cubed where the displacement is s meters after t seconds. At what time does the particle have zero acceleration? Now this is a differentiation question where if I differentiate the displacement what I'll then get is I'll get a formula for the velocity. If I then differentiate the velocity I'll get a formula for the acceleration. And if I get that, I can then set that formula equal to zero and solve it, and that will give me a time where the, the particle has zero acceleration. Let's go ahead and do that then. So let's start with uh, the displacement. And what we're saying, we're going to then, if we uh, differentiate that, we'll get um, a formula for the velocity. So that'll be ds by dt, or really it's the velocity, is going to be equal to ds by dt, and then I'm just going to differentiate this part here. So that's going to give me 12t, multiplying the power by the, the uh, number at the front, and reducing the power by 1, and that'll give me minus 3t squared. So that's my formula for the velocity. Now what I'm then going to do is I'm going to differentiate velocity with respect to, to time, and that will give me an acceleration formula. OK, so that's going to give me 12. And that's going to be minus 6t. Right, then I'm going to set acceleration equal to 0. I'm setting that equal to 0 because I have to work out when it's got 0 acceleration. And I'll find out the time once I do that. So 0 is equal to 12 minus 6t. Take the 6t over to this side, and t is equal to 12 over 6, so t is equal to 2. And we're working in seconds, so that will be seconds, that will be there. OK, so looking at the answers, answer B looks as though that's the correct one there.